New sunscreen day. <laughs> this is the Bubble, Bubble brand, which is fun. That's a fun name for a sunscreen. It's called Plus One Tinted Mineral Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 40, 1.7 fluid ounces, vegan, cruelty free. 15% zinc oxide, which is great. And it does have a lot of iron oxides at the end of the ingredient list, which is honestly impressive. Because iron oxides also provide a bit of um, sun protection. I'm really hoping, because this is one shade, that it won't be too dark for me. I did not expect a pump. <laughs> okay. You can find this at Walmart too, right? I picked this up at Ulta, but I'm pretty sure this is at Walmart. Is it at Target too? I don't know. It just seemed to come out of nowhere all of a sudden last year and I never tried it. Great price point. Okay. Let's see. Please don't be too... Mm. Hmm. Okay, before I do a second finger. <laughs> okay, we're just, we're gonna test this out a little bit. Maybe it'll shear out. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll shear out, please. Okay, it's a little orangey. Oh, but look, I think it's gonna shear out. Okay. Let's go ahead and put more. Hmm, has trouble coming out, doesn't it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> this isn't. why you need to actually have a quarter of a teaspoon. Um, let's see here. It's SPF 40, could be better. It could be an SPF 50, but I still like a 40. Okay, it looks like it's, it looks like it's gonna be matte. You know, you know I like a matte sunscreen because I am naturally a glowy girl. And I know glowy is still in, but I honestly, I don't have dry skin, so, oh, it's dripping a little bit. I've got to go tutor at my daughter's school today. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna be orange. I'm scared of this. Oh, and I was gonna wear a white shirt today. Well, not gonna be wearing a white shirt. All right, let's let this dry down and I will be right back. Okay, the bubble dried down pretty fast for me. It's been about 10 minutes. This is not matte. It is a natural finish, <clears throat> which I don't mind. The problem for me is, as you can see, is the color. It is slightly too dark. I might be able to get away with this in the summer. It just is too dark and it, it stayed up all in my eyebrows. It turned my eyebrows like a weird yellow. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then um, I will check back in with you in two hours for an update and we'll see how it wore under foundation, but I don't expect any problems, so. Oh, what do you guys think? I think I'm into like extra ear cuffs. Um, I've been wearing these for about, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks now, and I think I really like them. This one is just a little white gold plated ear cuff that has like swirls. And then this one is a Pandora, it's actually heart shaped and it is gold. And then I've got like the full moon here and the half moon here. These are, these three are Nina Baranato jewelry which is an austin texas based jewelry maker and they hand make all the items and they dip them in gold so they're all gold plated and very reasonably priced i think i bought this one on sale and it was only 15 dollars. so <laughs> i got it like the after christmas sale and i want to say these were also 15 together and they have the opposite on the back so like the full moon is on the back of this one and I can sleep in these and they don't hurt because they don't have the pointy bit. Um, they're just really hard to put on. Hi, hey, two hour check-in. I went and tutored, just came home from tutoring at my daughter's school and I picked up a dirty chai, which if you don't know, that is a chai tea latte with a shot of espresso. 
which I desperately need. <laughs> but, but we're not here to talk about coffee and tea. Um, look at my face. That's, that's my cat, Mama Blossom. I have the door open so you can get a little natural light and she is wanting to go outside. But it's like 34 degrees outside, so. Let me look over here in the wind, in the mirror. I think it looks beautiful. I was able to blend foundation and powder down so that you can't tell how dark it is. So that gives me hope. Why do I have such dark circles under my eyes? Is it because I still have whooping cough? <laughs> it's getting better though. I think it looks great. What do you think? Well, you'll see next for my final thoughts. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanin my Mom here. Join me in my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel. <laughs> Give this video a like if you like sunscreen reviews and found this video helpful. You just finished watching my wear test of the bubble tinted sunscreen. So many of you have been asking me to try this one out as well as the untinted. So I've still got to buy that one so that I can review that one for you. So this is the bubble plus one tinted mineral sunscreen. It's only $19 at Ulta. $19, we've got an under 20 sunscreen, which is rare these days, I feel like. <laughs> 1.7 fluid ounces and you get a pump. The pump was a little bit difficult for me to work when I first tried this out, but after using it for a week, it's no longer an issue. I love it. And I think this really appeals, the name, the branding really appeals to younger adults. <laughs> and teenagers, which I think is fantastic because those are the generations we need to raise up gener new generations to actually start wearing sunscreen. So I am all for the branding and the marketing of Bubble. Now, if I had actually read the description on Ulta, I would have noticed it saying the bronzy finish. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely a bronzy finish on my skin because as you can see, the tone is just slightly too dark. I am wearing it today and I put some really light foundation on top of it and kind of blended it all in with a brush. But because the tint is too dark for me, I am going to pass this on to a family member who can use this so it doesn't get wasted. <laughs> it is SPF 40, which is fantastic. It is all mineral with how much zinc oxide? 15% zinc oxide, also fantastic. It doesn't have any mattifying properties. I feel like it's natural leaning glowy finish. It looks beautiful under foundation, to be honest, it looks beautiful. It's formulated for acne prone skin so that it won't cause breakouts. It's also formulated without a white cast so that people with darker skin tones can wear it, which is also fantastic. I still do think that companies should come out with more than one tint in their tinted sunscreen range because this probably isn't dark enough for the darkest of skin and it's definitely not light enough for the lightest of skin. I also love that this has no alcohols in it and no fragrance. I didn't, <laughs> okay, you saw I put it in my eyebrows. I do not recommend putting in your eyebrows if you have light colored eyebrows like I do because it just turned them yellow. So I did not put it around my eyes because I knew I would just look weird. I would just look weird. <laughs> and today I did not put it around my eyebrow eyebrows. I used my Kaki Aqua Balm, that's SPF 50. I used it around my eye area today. All right, just looking at the reviews, it has four and a half stars on Ulta, which is fantastic. The major complaint is, is the shade range. I am a fair girly. This feels very good, lightweight, dewy, but not oily. My issue is the shade range. It's winter currently, so I'm pale AF. In the summer, I'll tan enough for this shade to suit me, but I shouldn't have to do all that. Correct, and if you're tanning at all in order to be able to wear a sunscreen, you're missing the point of sunscreen, aren't you? Yes, I can fix it with a lighter concealer, but once again, I shouldn't have to do all that. Wouldn't recommend for people who are fair or dark skin. Has orange undertone to it as well. I found that it had more of a yellow undertone. Would lovely suit someone with medium skin. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen and this one might be the perfect one for you. I just will not be continuing to wear this simply because of the tint. 